Well, today, Governor Westmore is heading to the nation's capital to discuss funding for cleanup and rebuilding after the Key Bridge collapse. And meanwhile, crews are working tirelessly to open a third temporary channel by the end of this month. WJZ got rare access inside the Unified Command Center where decisions are being made about the salvage operation. And so far, more than 1,100 tons of steel and debris have been cleared from this site. Now, the next challenge ahead is removing what's known as the Section Zero, that is the massive girder still laying on top of that cargo ship. In the meantime, the owners of the Dolly are now looking for help to cover salvage costs. Alexis Villa now on your corner with the latest. And Alexis, what are the owners of the ship asking for this morning? Well, you know, the Dolly was carrying about 4,000 shipping containers, and now the ship owner is saying that they want to have the owners of that cargo that was on the ship pay for the salvage efforts. Now, with that being said, the ship owner made what's called a general declaration, which means a third party adjuster will say what each stakeholder should contribute. This comes as crews are still working to remove some of the shipping containers so they can lift up pieces of the bridge wreckage to ultimately free the ship. Meanwhile, the Danish ship company Maersk is taking action to help serve the Baltimore area. Mayorsk is still not accepting new bookings to or from the Port of Baltimore. However, they are using alternative ports like Newark, Norfolk, and Philadelphia via road and rail. This is the critical step they are taking since the two temporary channels that are currently open are not deep enough for Mayorsk and other carriers to come through. Mayorsk says that they are also still waiting for details on a third temporary channel to open for them hopefully by the end of this month. Now, Resolve Marine is helping with some of the salvage efforts, and they believe that they need to remove 140 containers in order for them to free the ship. However, I did reach out to, to them to find out how many containers have been removed so far. Reporting live, I'm Alexis Davila for WJZ. Alexis, thank you. WJZ and the United Way of Central Maryland are continuing our efforts to help those who